in this video, we will talk about what's called paper bags or shopping bags. You will learn how to draw the die cut for any paper bag size. For measures, we don't have any specific size. Maybe you will design for square or rectangle bags with different sizes. It depends on the product that will be used the bag for. The products could be clothes, perfume, cosmetics or gifts. The usual sizes in centimeter is 19 by 10 by 24 centimeters, 30 by 10 by 30 centimeters, 42 by 12 by 36 centimeters, 24 by 31 by 10 centimeters. The most important thing is that you need to know what is the folded size of the design. So when you will print your design, you know what sheet size you should use. Usually the sheet size is 100 by 70 centimeter. Half of a sheet is 50 by 70 centimeters. Quarter of a sheet is 35 by 50 centimeters. We will assume that we will work on half of a sheet, 50 by 70 centimeters. The question now, how we will draw the die cut for the shape that you see on the screen in Coral Draw. Let we open Coral Draw and learn how to do all of that. As we said previously, we will use half of a sheet, which is 50 by 70 centimeters. We shouldn't use the exact size. We need to leave a two to three centimeters because we need a space for sheet clipping in the printer. This space shouldn't have any print on it. It should be empty. We will leave two centimeters. So change unit to centimeters. Now type for the width 70 centimeters. As for the height, it should be 50 centimeters, but we will subtract two centimeters. So it becomes 48 centimeters. Press OK. Before start, go to window, docker, transform. We will work on a paper bag with measurement of 24 by 31 by 10 centimeters. Select rectangle 2. Draw a rectangle. Go to transform. Select size. Deselect proportional. For width type 24 and for height 31. Press enter. Now this is the face of the bag. We need to make the side. So with right mouse click drag to the right, hold control, snap to the edge, release, select copy here. Now for the side, the width is 10 centimeters, but for paper bag, you need to divide it by two. In other word, the width is 10 centimeters, so we will draw two pieces with five centimeters for each. Go to transform, change reference point to center left and type for the width five centimeters. Press enter. Now we need another copy. So with right mouse click drag to the right, hold control, snap to the edge, release, select copy here. Now the width for the two pieces equal to 10 centimeters, which is the width we need for the bag. Now select all. With right mouse click drag to the right, hold control, snap to the edge, release, select copy here. Go to snap to, select page. Select all and move to the edge of the page. Now drag to make the final piece, which is the glue flap edge. Scale until snap to page edge. As we can see the width for it will be two centimeters. Now we have the front face, side, back face, the other side and the glue flap. Now all what we need is to make a copy of all of that and change the height. Select all. With right mouse click drag up, hold control, snap to top edge, release, select copy here. Go to transform, change reference point to center bottom and type for the height, five centimeters, press enter. Select all and move until snap to page corner. Now we need also another copy of the five centimeters down here. This will be the base of the bag. And we need another copy also with height of seven centimeters. This piece will be folded inward. So drag a copy down until snap to the bottom. Go to transform, change reference point to center top and type for the height, seven centimeters. As we can see, the size we made is exactly with the same size of our sheet, which is 70 by 48 centimeters. Now, when we use a full size sheet, which is 100 by 70 centimeters, we will get two paper bags for each sheet. Now we will draw the holes for the carrying rope. Select ellipse tool, draw a circle, change size to 0.5 for both the height and the width. Press enter. Drag it to top. Make another copy to the left. Select both and press control plus G to group. 
Select. Make another copy down here. Select both. Copy, paste, press shift and select the back face. Align horizontally. Now we still have to draw the fold lines at the bottom. Zoom in here. Select two point line tool. Draw a line between the two corners here. Scale until snap to bottom edge. Change type to dots. Change color and thickness. With right mouse click drag to the right, hold control, release, select copy here. Mirror horizontally, move to snap to other side. Now select both. With right mouse click drag to the right, hold control, snap to corner, release, select copy here. Scale the line until snap to the edge. Now, our die cut is ready. Select all. Control plus G to group. Go to window. Docker. Objects. Rename layer one to die cut. And lock. Create another layer. Rename to artwork. Move die cut layer to top. Now everything is ready to add our design. This is the faces that usually used for design. Now let me add a design to our die cut. Change the die cut stroke color to white That's it. Hope you enjoy the video and learn some tips and tricks from it. Don't forget to subscribe and like. See you in the next video.